Hello everyone, back at you. Uh, today I want to talk about my partner in crime, Daniel Saez. Uh, he's really the one who has gotten me to really speak out and to get on these different uh, outlets and to uh, just generally talk about the state of Crips and the state of gangs and what can be done. Uh, Daniel and I are two different peas in the pod. His family, first generation Mexican mafia. Me, my family, first generation Crip. And then I have a second generation that's involved my brother who's found a co-founder of a Trey Gangster Crips. Uh, his folks and himself involved with the Mexican Mafia of Arizona. And in Cali, that doesn't fly. Blacks, especially Crips, don't associate with Mexican Mafia members because it's really on site. But with Daniel and his family and learning about the Mexican Mafia out here, totally different. Totally different. And you know, and I can understand that. And Daniel and I come from two different cultures, from two distinct locations, but they're so similar. Our similarities outweigh our differences. Uh, he understands the gang mentality. I understand the gang mentality. And he's concerned about all the violence. I'm concerned about the violence. And the thing, the thing of it is, games are going to be around forever. Be proud of where you're from, but you don't need to kill the next man because he's claimed to be from somewhere else. That's all we. That's the message. That's the message. And you know, and. Uh, and after Daniel got out the pen, I was living here before he got out the pen. And I met him and we clicked from day one. Just the conversation, we sit out and talk for hours on hours about different subjects, but mainly about what can be done to alleviate some of the violence that's going on amongst gangs members in Cali and here in Arizona. There's a lot that can be done but it has to start somewhere, and it starts with Daniel and I, I guess. And the more we speak on it, I hope it starts resonating amongst gang members that you don't have to, you don't have to uh, disavow your gang. You know, just uh, show the respect for the next gang. Because gang's gonna be around forever. How long have Crips been around in California? They started in 1970, so it's 2024 now. So we say roughly 54 years. So we're saying roughly about 54 years. Blood's been around 50 years. Easy. 49, 50 years, easy. Because they started a couple years after us because we Crips forced to, forced bloods to form by our, our aggression against non-combative youth. If you wasn't a Crip, it was only cracking back in them days. And if you was a young man, especially a young black man, phew, hey, you fair target, you fair game, partner. You know, that's when, you know, and that's where it started. That's where the foundation was laid. But Daniel and I are gonna try to bring you something different every time we get on here, especially live, we're gonna to try to bring you something different. We're not gonna bring you anything that's, that's not factual, and we're not gonna bring you any alternative facts. If we don't know, we're gonna stay, don't know. We're gonna to try to find out. Because that's the problem now. People's talking about shit they don't know about. You know, just making up shit to get the clicks. 
or whatever, you know, and uh, we're gonna try to drown them out. And it's one in particular, I'm gonna try to drown out. No, not drown out, I'm gonna have everybody on his helmet. The clubhouse shit with Adam 12 or Adam 22, with all them fake ass guys on there, yeah. That's what they are. And then, here's a dude, a white boy, know nothing about crip, but always got a crip or a blood on his, on his little platform. Yeah, okay, partner. You the type, of, you the type of person that don't know to be a, don't need to be on any social media with any crips talking about any crip or blood stuff. You don't. But anyway, getting back to me and Daniel. We will be at you. We will be at you with some positive shit. You know, and when we do come on, it's not going to be about any gang shit, about any who shot who or who did what. No. If you want to hear about that kind of shit, go to another channel. We have something different in store for you. And with that, one love.